by fans of high quality entertainment. That's right, I'm still talking about the Beach Boys. I can't help it. They, you know, I've always liked the Beach Boys, you know, all of their hits and pet sounds, of course. But I kind of ignored, once again, you know, some of their albums until recently. And so far, I've got Beach Boys Party and Stack O Tracks, Sunflower and Surf's Up. Friends and 2020, which was gifted to me by Nicholas Pearl, along with another Beach Boys CD. And then the uh, Feel Flows, which is the Sunflower and Surf's Up sessions. And bonus tracks. Smiley Smile, which Nicholas Pearl also gifted me. The 50th anniversary of Pet Sounds, which sounds amazing. Highly recommend it if you haven't. If you have an older version of Pet Sounds. And there are debut albums Surf and Safari, Stereo and Mono. Their last album, That's Why God Made the Radio. And sadly, I have also Summer in Paradise. <laughs> so as you can see here like I, I can't rate rank the Beach Boys albums because I haven't heard them all yet but maybe you know in a few years or a year or two I, I could do that but I just saw this from last year November of 2023 from uh, Classic Rock and Culture Ultimate Classic Rock each boy's albums ranked worst to best. So I thought I would just go over their list and, you know, I'll talk about the albums I have heard. And also, I'd love your feedback on your thoughts on this ranking. Here we go. Well, I was wondering if it would start at the bottom, and it looks like it does. <laughs> there it is, Summer in Paradise. Ranked number 30, the very worst Beach Boys album. And I did a reaction on my other channel a couple of years ago. Does this album suck? Summer in Paradise. And at the end of listening to it for the very first time, I stated, this album sucks. Yeah. I've never heard, well, I've heard... I won't say, I've, I've listened to bits and pieces of all, probably most of the Beach Boys albums on Spotify recently. So I have heard bits of this. Keeping the, the Summer Alive, 1980. Yeah, let me know, you know, some of these that are ranked near the bottom, let me know. I'm a, you know, I'm a big fan of that album. I think it's great. I love that 80s drum sound. Yeah, I've heard that. I've never heard any of this one. Stars and Stripes, Volume 1, and I don't think there's going to be a Volume 2. It's a bunch of country stars like Hobie Keith and Willie Nelson. Covering the Beach Boys. I guess the Beach Boys singing back up vocals. Still Cruising. Yeah, that's the one with the... Oh, it's the first album after Kokomo. There's also a cover of Wipeout <laughs> with the Fat Boys. Then... I thought that was called the M.I.U. Oh, yeah, M.I.U. album. Why is it called Winds of Change? I'm confused. Unless that, that's the single, or that's the UK version of it. Surf and Safari, there for, yeah, I, I played that for the first time last night. You know, it was a fun listen. Uh, 
you know, their debut album. I, en I enjoyed mo most of it. I mean, some of it was <laughs> a little silly, but Summertime Blues was enjoyable. 409, Surf and Safari, of course. You have to start somewhere. Yeah, I think I, I also did Does This Album Suck? And at the end of listening to it, I said the album sucks. But I've heard that the next couple of albums they might be doing are 15 big ones, and the Beach Boys love you, and they're go going to be remixing them. And supposedly it's going to sound, you know, much better. I've heard that's a, a very nice Christmas album. I've never heard it at all. I mean, with the Beach Boys harmonies, it's got to be pretty nice. Then the self-titled The Beach Boys, once again from the 80s. The Beach Boys light album. Yeah. As a 11 minute disco remake of Here Comes the Night, I heard a bit of that, <laughs> unfortunately. Okay, this is the one I'm thinking of maybe getting next, along with Holland. So Tough and Holland, you know, the two albums together. So they have it at number 20. Let me know if you. Beach Boys fans out there like that album. Little Deuce Coop at 19. Yeah, I, I've only played this, their last album once. I thought it was, it was okay. And the last, you know, maybe three songs were really good. Certainly not one of their best, but I thought it was, I thought it was okay. Down. Here for girl. So all of their early up. Oh, in my room, one of my favorite Beach Boys songs. Yeah, I've got 2020. I I like the album. I think it's really good. It's not. I don't like it as or love it as much as Friends. But I think you know it's a bit of a just a bunch of songs kind of thrown together, but. I really like most of the song. And Friends, that would be higher on my list. I love the album. The only thing against it is it's a, a really short album. It's about 24 minutes long. Each, yeah, I, I like, I, I've heard the Beach Boys Party once. And it, it's a, you know, a fun listen, but I certainly love Friends. Much more. Yeah, the Beach Boys love you. People seem to, I think over the years, it's kind of grown in stature. So I'm going to wait for the remix of it, hopefully, coming out soon. Surfing USA, number 11. So here's the top 10. Smile. I need to get that at some point. A smile session. Number nine, all summer long. Yeah. Oh, and like I said, that's the other album. Along with Carl and the Passions, they want to get next. And that's another one I've never heard. Wild Honey. Number seven. Beach Boys Summer Days and Summer Night. So top five. Oh, don't get me started. The, the Beach Boys Sunflower. I love it. as much as Friends, as much as Pet Sounds, and as much as another album will be, should be coming up soon. Maybe it's at number one. But yeah, this, this is why. Because of albums like Sunflower and Friends and Pet Sounds, of course. And then all of their great radio hits. 
I'm just a much bigger fan of the Beach Boys now. Smiley Smile, I absolutely love too. Beach Boys today. Yeah, with Help Me Rhonda. Dance, dance, dance. Do you want to dance? Yeah, Surf's Up, once again, especially Side 2. I think Side 2 is one of the greatest Side 2s ever. And Side 1 ain't bad either. I even love the uh, that silly protest song by Mike Love. And Carl Wilson, some of the songs he sings on some of these albums are just so good. Like Long Promised Road. That would be in my top 10, I think, Beach Boys song, songs of all time. And number one is, yeah, Pet Sound. So, yeah. I can see, sir, yeah, I think I'm, I agree with number one being Pet Sounds, at least for now, until I hear everything else. It serves up at number two. I haven't heard all of that yet. I think I would have Sunflower ahead of Smiley Smile, even though I love both, both of them almost the same. And I would have Friends way, way up. Yeah. So not a bad ranking as far as I can see, but uh, I would love your thoughts on this. Beach Boys ranking from Ultimate classic rock thank you for watching please remember to subscribe and uh yeah what one other quick thing i want to say is i've realized listening listening to these albums that the the beach boys were as crazy sometimes and as creative and not just brian wilson but all of the beach boys they, they did such a variety of music and there were some crazy songs on some of the albums uh, it's not all, you know, it's not perfect, of course, but I just have a, a, a huge new respect for the Beach Boys. Thank you.